Fenway, I'd love to play with you. Fenway, Fenway. Hey. This is unbelievable. Carlos Gavira is a resident from Jupiter, Florida. He says he was blocked by community management from flying a political flag supporting Donald Trump. Came up with a clever idea. Well, he decided after, well, he took down that poster that he would put his boat and wrap it in Trump and get the general restriction on flags and get around it. I had a, a Trump flag, you know, the Trump flag. And, you know, at Adams right. Cove, I didn't know that you couldn't really have a uh, political flag. So obviously I complied, took it down, but I uh, really wanted to support the president. So I uh, looked into it a little further and I uh, documented the boat with the U.S. Coast Guard named Trump. And within four days, I had uh, my buddy at Atlas Signs make me a wrap and I was off to the races. When he was done remodeling, he put one Trump flag in the window and he got a letter from somebody that lives in this community that said, your house is beautiful, we love the remodel, but you have that, that Trump flag that you have in your window makes your house disgusting. So this is what he did in retaliation. <laughs> I thought, okay, so the Trump flag there, Trump flag there, he's got Trump signs all over his yard if you look up by his front door he's got a trump up there look look all over his house every window's got a trump flag <laughs> so awesome we started out with one sign and uh we went through about six of them stolen so uh you created a huge fan. <laughs> well, we started out with a smaller one then that people were actually crushing with the signs in it and stealing the signs. And uh, we installed a camera, got a couple pictures of people. Eventually, they even added this electrified fence. If they even touch the sign, they're going to get zapped. So I went up to them and, and asked them why they were trying to steal my, my yard sign. And, of course, they denied it. He pledged to keep the would-be sign stealer in sight while his wife called the police. You can see the two jog past the house twice. At one point, an acquaintance of the would-be thief joins and things turn physical. So he immediately turns and shoves me with both hands, knocks me down. So many Trump signs are being swiped that yard sign defense techniques are being deployed. Like using bike chain lubricant to make them slippery and messy, or worse yet, try dog poop, or replace your signs with something they can't steal. I'm gonna keep cutting it like this till Trump's elected.